Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Elliot Brown here in the Essex Business Radio studio, coming out to you for another one of these incredibly exciting and compelling C19, How We Deal With It, uh, a show where I'm talking to people absolutely everywhere about how they are dealing with COVID-19, corona, whatever you want to call it, uh, how it's impacting their lives, how they're pivoting, changing what they're doing, uh, and also not just in their personal lives, but in their business and any ideas and tips they may have for you guys out there in your personal and and in your business life that may help you to grow right now as well. And joining me today from Atlanta, Georgia, is Diana Murphy of Diana Murphy Coaching. Hi, Diana. How are you? Hello. <laughs> Good to be here. Looking very glam today, I have to say. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and, I, and I asked you before we started recording, because I know nothing about this, and you've established I know nothing about sport already, <laughs> that the, 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 the helmet in the background is very representative <laughs> of something that you're very interested in, isn't it? Yes. I love Atlanta football. I have became a diehard fan a long time ago. The Falcons have broken my heart many times, <laughs> um, but I love the experience of the fanship. And I, I actually bought my tickets in, a, in our new stadium, Mercedes-Benz right. Stadium, yeah. um, to have a place where I could bring, because of course the clients, most of the clients that I attract yeah. love football or are curious. And so yeah. I love bringing them to the game. So oh, I actually okay. bought it with my business. Ah, no. very yeah. handy. Very handy. Well, yeah. if you're going to entertain so your clients and do it, you enjoy it as well, which is the, which is the main thing. Yeah. So I get to see a very vulnerable side of me. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Well, <laughs> when I come over to Atlanta, Georgia, I, then, uh, then I'm going to take, I'm going to take you up on that. So, okay. so, tell, so tell me a little bit about your coaching then. I mean, I've spoke to you a little bit before we started recording, of course, yeah. um, but, but, but tell me a bit about your coaching and, uh, and your business. So I've been in business six years. I started a little differently than I am now. Um, one of the main ways I was coaching was um, helping people with weight loss. Right. But I was also helping a certain kind of person. Okay. And that is that type A individual, hard driving, work all the time person. And as I got to understand that the makeup of that person, I fell in love with founding and successful entrepreneurs and even brick and mortar business owners. They, there's not like, it's that energy of business building. Yeah. And so now I have just a pillar of my work is wellness for sure, but I am all in on mindset um, for the entrepreneur. Yeah. And of course, right now that is uh, more prevalent than ever. Yeah prevalent the yeah. right word i think it is um yeah. you know it isn't isn't it right i mean you know, so you've been obviously working on that yeah. side of things more than ever right now so much of what i am creating in terms of when i'm writing and i have a free course right now called the zone of genius um class yeah um is all coming from those clients that signed up with me in november and have a strong foundation and seeing mm -hmm. how well they're doing through this, they're not like, it's not that we're not feeling fear. It's not that we're not feeling all the things, but they are resilient in our calls weekly. We, they're resilient in being able to bring back and lean on the tools that we've established so far and are feeling better and staying at a, instead of roller coaster, yeah. it's, it's just a flattened, I am not going to use the word. I'm not going to say it. Cool. Um, but it whoa, is what, that what, what, like what, really so it's a flattened. What, 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 what can't you say? <laughs> yeah. Flatten the, curve. Um, so like it really is flattening the curve of those emotions so that you aren't taken out and in spin. You're not frustrated. You're not making decisions out of fear. I think that's what I'm concerned the most is that a lot of people are making decisions out of fear right. and getting very clean in your mindset can help you to really make better long-term decisions that are better for your well-being long-term. Right. I mean, that's quite, that's quite interesting because I think you are, they're, they're, you're absolutely right. People are making decisions from yeah. fear or, or, or for, from, from not understanding or from the unknown uh, yeah. right, right now. Um, what about overwhelm as well? Because there's going to be a lot of people out there that are trying new things now as well. Um, yeah. have you, I mean, you, do you have clients that are sort of going, well, do you know what? I've got to pivot my business. I've got to change. But this yeah. is actually creating a, a great deal of overwhelm for me as well. Um, have you found that? Yes. And I think it's something that's very common in the type of person that I coach anyway, because they are do always at like kind of living life at a high vibration, doing a lot of activity, always creative. The brain can't stop. And I do think it is we're in a space where our triggers are higher, like yeah. more frequent. And I work with a model where 
I help my clients to understand that the circumstances, the triggers are not what creates the feeling of overwhelm. Yeah. All our thoughts are creating that overwhelm. So I think our triggers are more frequent. And so, yes, we're much more likely to be overwhelmed. And so it's just having a resource and even just, and that's what I want to offer as a tool. We'll get there, but it's really calming down and like, what am I thinking right now that is creating that overwhelm? And our brain will latch onto with the news. It will latch onto the scariest, deepest, darkest thought. Yeah. It's our job to kind of notice that so that we can let that go. Yeah. I think it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it resonates with me as, uh, as I yeah. think we probably, uh, we probably touched on before we started recording. Uh, I've had to change a lot of things. I'm not making this about me, but uh, the reason I asked is because I, I also know the people that are maybe struggling with, with things right now. Yeah. And these are successful business people that have got a business that have got numerous staff. They've had to furlough people. They've had to change their team. They've had to change what they're doing as a business. And as much as I know that they are pushing ahead still, there is still an ability to go, there's a lot going on here that is new. And it doesn't matter how much experience you've got, people do overthink, particularly the entrepreneurs yes. and obviously yes. the people that you attract. But to, yeah. And this is living so much in our head with all the thoughts without management creates that overwhelm. Yeah. And I, there's a concept I've been um, talking about this last week that how do you create momentum with all this coming at us? Yeah. How do we create? And I have a concept that I think will be helpful with what you're sharing. It's we need to stay very clear and centered in that moment. Like, okay, what in the next hour do I need to do? so that we stay in that creative, we'll think of the ideas, we'll make the right decisions, we'll answer emails in a way that's really um, resonating with who we're her serving and helping. Yep. So it is, it's a, it's a um, formula. It's really staying super grounded in the present and that requires thought work. Okay, I'm thinking that, I'm feeling, okay, of course I'm freaked out by the net last news you know, yeah. alert. Yeah. What do I need to do today? Just staying very, very present focused because we're not in danger right in front of us. Most of us are yeah. not in danger. We're not in a hospital room, thank God, right? Yeah. But you marry that to all those goals, dreams, creativity, and vision that you've had for 2020. Yeah. And you remember that right now, everything's fine yeah. and you ground in that. So I think it's really important to resist the oh my God, I have to change everything. No, you may not need to. Our business may come to us as things open up. We may have the biggest months we've ever had. I don't care what business you're in. Yeah. And But staying grounded will create that. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I, I can think of a couple of examples now of people that, that genuinely, I mean, I actually did a podcast, a podcast a little while ago uh, of a cleaning a company. I've, I've known the guy for 20 years. Um, in fact, I worked with him in a cleaning business many years ago. We run a business together. Uh, he now has a cleaning business, which um, overnight, because it was a lot of corporate work and a lot of commercial business wow. changed. I mean, lost 80, 90% of his business. Yeah. But he did, he was able to pivot. He was able to go, right, okay, this has all happened. But focused and now he's providing 50, 40 50 staff uh, to their local hospitals to help clean those as well go through so he's managed to pivot and he's not taken advantage of the situation because he's paying forward a lot i mean he's done and spent a lot right, of time doing it right but again it was about not you know what he, he said to me is you know before we started recording you know initially it was like whoa and the head's gone but then you've got to sort of focus a little bit yeah. so uh, yeah absolutely right in what you're saying on a personal level yeah. How do you feel about this? I mean, how's it affected <sighs> affected you? I mean, this this is uh Okay, so I traveled. I insist that I am a little very positive. Um you my husband is always like, "But Diana and pulling me back to reality, right?" Okay. But I don't like I love living in that space and I yeah. will own it. That's a that's a good space. That's right? a good space. A good space. <laughs> but I let, I convinced him that it was okay to still travel to my mom who's 89. Right. In a nursing not a nursing facility but in a community where there's nursing homes attached. Yeah. And we were the last guests that were allowed to be there. Right. And we worried that our being on an airplane could have put them so like getting past the two week point for ourselves after traveling and for my mom yeah. was like, "Oh, okay. I didn't give her corona." So there was that personal, you know, and I think each of us um, 
has that, you know, whatever your personal experience is, is what is your like really visceral triggers. And my best friend, um, her whole family has Corona. Oh, really? And they are getting better. And, but I know some of the personal health issues that her husband, like I like that just took me out. So right. we all are going to have these personal experiences. And I think I've had to learn. I'm a hard charging. I want to be positive. Yeah. So the people like coach, you know, like I, really was charging forward and overworking to compensate yeah. and not want to feel. So my Friday nights were, Oh my God, you like, I just have been taken out physically from really? that and I'm learning to kind of take better care. Right. So, so you, so you were literally just go, just go oh, full, yeah. steam, full steam ahead and then yeah. sort of almost hitting, hitting you in one go on a, a, you know, when you're sort of, you know, allowing yourself to sort of calm down and relax a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And then it all comes. And I want to encourage all your listeners that that's really normal. Like, especially the type of people I coach because they're very much like myself and you that you're used to being hard charging. And it is a way that we avoid some of the emotional life. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's just, yeah, it's a very it's, true. And I'm not going to judge it because I live it. Like, yeah. I'm just sharing with you that I do it too. And yes. It, all my goals and dreams and the way that I wanted to show up in the world has been healing that for myself in January and February. Yeah. Nothing's changed for any of us. Our circumstances and everything that's come at us has required us to do that work at a, at a, at a deeper level. And so, or to remember to keep doing that work. So for me, I just had to be sad and I had to just allow some of the emotions and just know that that was okay. And that allows them to flow through you instead of being stuck in overwhelm. Like that is one thing that can really help is admitting what you're really feeling. Yeah. And just feel it. 90 seconds. Did you know we only feel an emotion for 90 seconds? Oh, really? Yeah. And our brain will tell you it's awful. Don't do it. Don't feel it. It's horrible. But the process of just allowing what's going on for us can help us move on to the next, not in an unrealistic way. So, but so in a way so, that it serves us. So you're saying that we, the, the actually battling it is is what prolongs it. Yes, we are. It. All of us. No one wants to feel sad that they're like worried that their friend's going to die. Like literally, no. that's what my brain and I was feeling. It's like, oh my word. Even though I knew she said they were recovering and things were fine, but yeah. my emotions were very sad that she had to go through that. And for me to just accept it was it like I had a sad kind of Friday night, but then I could enjoy, again, it's that present. I could be present with my husband and let our cooking and our time outside, like be nurturing. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's, there's, uh, it's, it's so true. I think it's, and it's closer to home when it's somebody, somebody that, that that's yeah. close to you as well, isn't it? You know, and, yeah, I can um, ignore the news, but I can't ignore that information. Yeah. Is, uh, and, and that's, that's very... going to happen for all of us in this. It's getting closer. It's getting closer all the time. You know, we yeah. won't get sort of wrapped up too much in that. How how is your mother, by the way? Oh, she's great, and she is designing social distancing. She's very. We. I'm very much like her. Social distancing cocktail parties in a very open terrace area, and they all bring in their drinks and they're enjoying themselves. So, oh, absolutely. I mean, they're eighty. Absolutely. Like most of them that are like in their late eighties, are like, "Yeah, this is the way I'm going to go. Whatever. <laughs> Let me enjoy my cocktail with my I friends." Am, I absolutely <laughs> love that. Oh, yeah, big love, big love to your mother. Then that yeah. sounds. Uh, she, she's not letting it get to. <laughs> she's teaching that. us something. She's got, like she's kind of a little rebellious right now. It's yeah, fun. yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Um, I, I, and has it changed? Has, has it changed your business? I mean, going back to business, has it changed your business in the way that you are doing things? I mean, obviously, uh, as a coach, I, you, know, you must have had a lot of. You must be doing a lot of one-to-one, -one, which is not yeah. happening so much now, of course. Uh, is, right. That's no, so change I was always coaching the way I'm coaching now. So that's what's so fascinating. So okay. my business, I meet people more in person. I have a very strong network in Atlanta. And so I meet people in person, they tap my shoulder and want to work with me. And this year I've been growing that more on getting to know people on LinkedIn and getting, you know, so what happened for me literally is that day two of quarantine, I held a call. I held every month, not right. that many people were showing to it. And I, but that day, because everybody's in quarantine and it was like, all bets were off. Most of my network came to that call. Right. And I served them there and within 24 hours, I started a class and I had 33 people sign up. But wow. that change was not just the Corona. That was me going, okay, all bets are off. This is no time to hide, Diana. You yeah. don't need to make it perfect. 
just give them what they, you know, they need. And I created a six week class that is just blowing me up. Like people are signing clients, people are feeling better, people are supporting each other in a way. So like I did something that I'll be honest with you, I meant to do two years ago. Wow. That class like doing things in that way and it's free and I'm opening another one up in May. I, I, this is like, Oh, this is how I want to do business. Wow. Cause people will come to me that want to be coached personally then. That's and, and absolutely. You're absolutely right. That's the, that's right? the way it works. If you do it correctly, yeah. if you're the people that try selling that straight off, uh, they're, they're the, they're the people that are going to get left behind right now anyway. And there right. are lots of people still trying to sell stuff at the moment, aren't they? You know, which is not, yeah. This isn't the yeah. way the world needs to Value be. Value first. You know, yeah. yeah. Um, but, but, and I think that's really, it's really interesting the fact that you, you know, one of the things I picked up off that, one, you, you designed it two years ago, whether it be in your head or whether you're on paper or whatever, but it was two years ago, the idea. But also the fact that you said, I'm just going to get it out there and it doesn't need to be perfect. And do you know what? That's absolutely true as well. It doesn't need to be perfect because you can polish that up. As you're going to be talking to people, you can polish things as yeah. you talk and you develop yeah. and, you, and, and you get that feedback. So, and it's never going to be perfect because there's always going to be a change that you can make to it anyway, isn't it? That, don't you right, think? Right, right. I've learned so much from the coach school I came from and my coaches and two concepts that are really important is that we hold ourselves back. A lot of us hold ourselves back trying to be A plus before we get it out. Yeah. And it's like, okay, B minus. I'll put my, ha out I'll the put door. my hand up there. B, yeah, I, me too. B minus <laughs> out the door. If there's anything somebody can take away from us sharing this, B minus out the door. B minus out the door. Yeah. And just remembering that um, I know what I want to do in those is create a transformation ahead of time. You don't need to hide any of your work or like only give them a bite so they want more. No, none of that. I want them to truly have a transformation in this six weeks. If they come out more blazing confident and courageous about their business than they ever would have. And I don't care if they ever pay me, I want that. So yeah. that's another tip is like, give them a transformation ahead of time with what you're offering. Give them something they really need. And that's why that class worked is I knew they needed and I designed the class around the things that they were saying were going on. I do so what I absolutely love uh, yeah. what, what you're and saying. And May is different. Watch out. This is yeah. getting refined. I cannot wait. So Well, well I, I am definitely going to be chatting to you. Um, you awesome. know, there's, there's a lot we can talk about. And, uh, and, and I've looked at a lot of people that do what you do and coaching. And we spoke about this before, before we started yeah. recording. Uh, I've had coaching. I've looked at lots of people. And everybody has their good and bad points. So I'm not saying that every coach is bad because they're not. Everybody has experiences. I love the way you come across. Um, and I like what you're saying. It resonates with me. And I'm a, I'm a skeptic. That's the right word, isn't it? <laughs> That's fun. Um, and I am. Um, but, and, and it does genuinely, you do, it does resonate with me a lot. And I don't like the word to overuse resonate, but it does. Um, I think there's you know, some incredible stuff that you've said there that's going to help people uh, in their mindset. And um, so where can people find you? I could talk to you for ages, to be fair. Awesome. Let's, I do. I love the conversations. So conversations are where transformation does happen. Yeah. So the way, if someone really does feel the resonance that you mentioned today, they should not waste any time and they should send me an email and ask for a consult link. Yeah. So that like, if they're really feeling that they should bravely just jump in and do that because that conversation is a blast. It's all to serve them and where they are right now. That's yeah. like, it's all for them. But there are a lot of ways to engage with me. I lived on LinkedIn in terms of where my articles live. Okay. I write twice a week. And the best way is to write me an email, Diana at dianamurphycoaching.com and say, Ooh, I want to know about the class. Ooh, I just want to be on your email list. Yeah. You know, like just tap me on the shoulder. I have a very personal approach and they might just have a question. I'd love their questions. So um, Diana at dianamurphycoaching.com. I have a website. I have been ignoring it for many years. I'm tweaking okay. it and it's getting more gorgeous all the time. <laughs> but the best way to understand if I'm for you is how you felt on this call today yeah. and just tapping my shoulder and letting me know what questions you have. I'd Definitely. love to meet you, whoever's listening. 
Great stuff. Well, thank you, honestly. Thank you very much for your time today. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, this I know is an some... honor to be asked. I can't wait to see what you keep creating with Essex Business Radio. This oh, well. is awesome. Well, we, you, we've, we've done about, we've done about 20, 20, I think, up so far. A few more ready to go out. This Great. will be going out in um, uh, probably the next four to five days because we've got Great. a bit of a backlog and then uh, more, more to come. So it's quite an interesting series. It's great to hear from people like yourself and everybody else about what they're going through and, and, and ideas they've got. And I think there's a hell of a lot to be taken from what you've said today. So I really appreciate your time. Thanks. I hope it's helpful. That's my biggest goal. We like, if all of us can drop a lot the stress and know how to manage that in the moment and calm down, then they're going to be operating like your friend who pivoted. Yeah. He did what he knew to do. He just did it with a different set of circumstances. And Absolutely. that's like what a lot of us are being asked to do. Yeah, definitely, definitely. All right. Well, listen, thank you very much again. Um, it's Diana Murphy from Atlanta in Georgia. So it's Diana Murphy Coaching. There will be a link around the post that we put out. And uh, uh, so if you, uh, if you want to get in, in, in touch with Diana, and I absolutely urge you to because I love what you're saying and I think uh, you're going to be able to help a lot of people and you must be helping a huge amount of people right now. Um, I'm enjoying so, it, yes. It's so, an honor. So, yeah, and it's an honor you coming on. Thank you very much. All right. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to cut uh, cut this sort of uh, for now, and I think we maybe maybe we'll do another one of these at some stage. All right. I think. Yeah. I'm in. Not? <laughs> uh, and you'll share this across your audience for us, won't you? Absolutely. They need Great to meet stuff. you. Great stuff. Well, thanks again. Uh, so um, there will be a link around this uh, for if you want to find out some more about Diana, uh, and if you want to know more about what we do here at Essex Business Radio, go to www.essexbusinessradio.com. You'll find all the links to our social. Uh, you'll find us everywhere, and also you can download our free app where you can hear all of the new and old podcasts. Um, so I'm going to say I'm going to sign off for now. So it's ciao for now, brown cow. Yeah.